previously on Call to Lamb's Pacifist Challenge. I showed it was possible to beat the game without attacking a single enemy, with the help of demons. But now with the new Relics of the Old Faith update, I have to go back and see if my demons and I can beat Relics of the Old Faith as pacifists. So before anything starts, that mystery guy does actually not appear. Apparently sacrificing yourself doesn't actually defeat the one who waits, so I have to go back and defeat him as a pacifist. So we're really starting off with that now. To start off instantly, I will get all- There we go, all three demons, the perfect lineup, and then I can't make a mint follower me right now, so I'm just gonna make a- Vegetables ain't that bad, right? Okay, and then we're gonna go beat up the one who waits. Shouldn't be that bad though. And then I guess it doesn't really matter what we grab. I'm not gonna use any of them, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> it's kind of concerning because I don't see my demons right now. Where are my demons? No, so that means I literally cannot do this. So I finally friggin' down patch, finally learned how to. So we're just gonna go here, choose <laughs> Pinocchio. As you can see, this is not the same save file, so uh, save Leos, and finally Juna. And here are my three little demons. And then let's go fight the one who waits. Here we are with our three little friggin' demons. Let's go fight the one who is waiting. And then just fighting ball. There we go, there goes the bomb. And we just have to stick close, so Saleos and Pinocchio do their thing. I remember reading somewhere that they revert back to level 1 demons when you fight the one who waits, so I think that's why they're not doing as much damage. They're still doing pretty decent damage! Just these freaking lackeys. Okay, he's like almost dead. One more hit, come on! Come on, Saleos, you got it! No, Saleos, wrong! Okay, he's the only guy. Who else could they shoot? Okay, two more hits apparently. <laughs> He summoned enemies, right? S Sailors attacked him, and okay. But I had to use my disease art, so. But ball down, time for aim. I'm gonna instantly grab this real quick. Ouch. And we're just gonna avoid these. I don't know why they're so slow. And this one should be a little better, because uh, he doesn't summon enemies. And this one's really slow for some What the frick? I don't remember it being this slow. Maybe because this is like such an old patch. Like, look at these. They're like. Oh my god, then I got hit by it. There we go. And time for the one who waits! There we go, grab the shield heart, just run around him. Only problem is he's- oh, ouch, I should not stand so close to him. Get him! What the frick? I don't remember ever seeing that move. To be fair, who fights the one who waits for this frickin' long? Jesus Christ. Okay, wail on him! Come on, we only got one attack on him. Okay, this is probably like the best thing for damage, because I could just circle around. I could probably just sit in the middle. Could I? I could. Ouch. I'm taking some heavy damage right now. Should be. Oh my god, Saleos, thank you. I was about to get hit by that. Uh, do you think you defeated me? I'm about to. <laughs> oh, this is easier than I thought it would be. Okay, attack him. Oh, that does so little damage, man. You just have to be observant of what the eyeball's doing. Oh, what? I thought an eye would be destroyed. Oh my god, this is gonna take for freaking ever. There we go, there goes one eyeball. Uh, it didn't drop healing for some reason though. I really think they did get a buff in the new update, like, jeez, these guys suck. And one should pop soon, because it's like, well, I'm really far down on the HP. Okay, this one should pop after. That close. There we- what? Okay. There we go, there goes- what? Hey, I did not think he'd be able to attack after he got killed. This is now really bad, since I'm on technically like 3 HP right now. And the one who waits gonna attack, well, this guy attack, so it's gonna be really hectic. I can't believe I walked into that. Oh my god. Oh, okay. Well, it doesn't freaking matter. Oh my god. We're gonna have to <laughs> sit through this. Kill him! <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay, the one who waits only took 12 minutes. And then we're gonna spare him. Obviously, we are a pacifist. And all our followers come down. Yay. We even have the demons here. And then we're just going to... Here we are. The one who waits. And we could change his color, but like... What, is he gonna be like black or he's gonna be black? So we'll just leave him the same and accept him into the cult. And we're gonna go back up to the upper patch. Okay, now we're back in current patch and we're just gonna walk straight over here. And there is the mystery man. Uh, then we're just gonna skip through all this, unlock all the doors. Nice, 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 and nice, pretty nice. And then we're gonna go on the first crusade so we can name him. So we got our first god tier. And same plan as usual, just wait. Good thing this Salos is actually hella dealing damage. There we go. Now that for the next few thousand rooms. fan frick fantastic. Oh, and here's Shimachi, or whatever the frick their name is. Blah blah blah, the red crown is dumb, and you are gonna give me some relics. Okay, let's see what we get. All his teeth rain down a storm of lightning. That is quite bad. I can't really use it because... Well, it's forcing me to use a relic, but I think I can actually... I could probably just get out of here with Omnipresence, which is... Can I not? Oh, I have to use the relic, it's forcing me. Okay, better yet, what I'm actually going to do is... Wait, can I not take damage now? <laughs> Wait, what is this? An invincibility bug? Wait, what the frick? 
Okay, well, plan would have been as I should die because then we'll reset the room, but okay, we're just gonna quit out because I'm broken right now and I'm stuck. Oh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> okay, so I didn't even have to do it that way. I just had to have Salios kill them all at the same time, and then I just use a spell on nobody. Okay, that's really nice, actually, then. This relic is pretty much like a curse. Uh, I think relics that... S I'll only use ones that spawn demons or uh, heal me, because then for us, I'm, like, directly doing the damage. Oh, I gotta leave, too. Oh, all his teeth again. Oh. Okay, is this, like, a joke or something? This is a third all his teeth. Oh my gosh, and here's Witness Agaras because I did not fight him ever. What the f Okay, well, <laughs> obliterated to death. Like, what the heck? Hopefully, uh, who is this? Is it probably Barbados? Hopefully Barbados just gets blown to the smithereens. Watch. Get him, Bomb, get him! He did half health, that's still pretty good. I need to start power leveling my followers after this. Oh shoot, I forgot they'd actually attack me. Is this a glitch? Uh, they are infinitely summoning spikes. I don't think this is intended. Holy crap, what the frick is happening? I'm playing four corners over here. <gasps> I'm gonna die! One, one, one more, one more, one more hit! Oh my god, no! One more Salios hit! <laughs> I saw him miss it! Oh my god, man! What the frick? What a glitch and a half! Get my god tier and get out of here! Okay, and now that we have the god tier, blah 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 blah. Uh, we'll just call him Lucky, because he shall bring some great luck and give me a holy talisman. Watch. Oh, damn it! <laughs> he gave me the worst thing! Oh, this guy is not freaking lucky. I want to change his name. Well, now that he gave me the worst thing ever, I am now gonna go back into Darkwood. Oh no, it's this room. Could I, um, uh, do this? I don't think I could! If I killed this bat, I probably could. And would that mean I don't have to do this? Hey, we're gonna go here to this relic room. Why does it only give me all his teeth, bro? Like, like am I glitched or something and I only get all his teeth? Oh, let's see what relic we get. All his teeth? Who would have freaking thought? Am I actually broken? Do I? What? <laughs> Why do I only have all his teeth? Actually, wait, what? I am broken. That's really weird, actually. I'll try to unlock another relic, see if it fixes that. Okay, here is Valfar number two, and then... Get him, bomb! Oh my god. He's like dead right now. Oh my god, he's actually hella dealing damage. Probably because he's so low on health, actually. I was about to say, he's shooting like really fast. Juna is such a carry. Like, seriously. Okay, and here is Amducius, which is probably gonna get... Oh, eviscerated? Oh, actually, he tanked that pretty well. Okay, use both those disease hearts. Wait, I think that second one wasn't a diseased heart. Oh, shoot. What? He's attacking too fast. I'm used to his slow attacks. Oh my god, and he's spawning more lackeys, goddammit. I think I might die. Oh my god, I'm actually getting my butt handed by... <gasps> stop! Stop shooting me! No! Oh my god! I actually died! That should beat me. I was 1 million percent sure I'd just wreck him. Back to fight Inducius. We are more prepared with hearts. Okay, nice. The bomb got a good chunk of health out of him. Now we just play the dodging game. One thing is, like, I can't get near him because then he dashes at me. But then I also have to get near him because then Salios won't attack him. And these lackeys, my god. I think the trick is, like, staying over here and then having him dash towards me. The problem is the lackeys always just, like, wander over. There we go. <laughs> Tags like that are really pissing me off, and I got him. He actually did a hella crazy amount of damage to me. But it doesn't matter because we got our god tier, and then we are out of here. Let's roll our god tiers, because we have two of them right now. Come on, big money, big money. Something good? Okay, that's actually pretty decent, because I actually want those. And hopefully I can get a fleece right now. Damn. Uh, not so lucky, but I guess this is still actually good. Let's go to cult real quick. So I want to do possessions five, and do the bribe follower. And can I do it again? No, I cannot. And then we'll just wait for the next day. Possession 6. And this is nice because I could get the alms of the poor ritual now. Which, why it's nice is because this is like a mass bless pretty much. <laughs> Look how much of them leveled up. Oh my god. And then I'm actually going to try something else. Since my relics are glitch right now, if I unlocked relics of the eye. So if I unlock this and then eyes of lost relics. I could get a free relic eyeball every time. Yeah, here we go. And then we could get eyes of lost relic. Let's see if this works how I think it will be. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm broken so it only unlocks the eyeball ones. Oh my god, this is actually broken because that means I have such a good loot table right now. This is going to become insane, actually. <laughs> so here's a relic room, watch. And it's going to be an eyeball. Yep, since we only have eyeball. So I have Slyther, uh, orbiting eyes at poison enemies on contact, and then two eyeballs, we just float around, quite nice I would say. Okay, and drop black ichor, one hit. Okay, and drop an explosive, one hit. 
Then here's Leshy. Just gonna skip that, because I don't care what he has to say. And time the fight. So we're just gonna dodge straight into him. Get some nice bomb damage off. And the eyes actually aren't uh, poisoning him, which is kind of weird. I'm still dealing a decent amount of damage. There are so many enemies, it's unreal. Continue what I'm doing, dodging up and down here, making the eyes poke into him. I literally can't hear my own words because it's so loud from everything getting hit. Uh, I just took damage and he's dead. <laughs> What a fight. What a fight. Now let's grab all the god tiers. Hopefully roll for a um, fleece. Okay, now that we're back, we could talk to Lucky over here. Okay, and then let's give him our god tiers. I'm actually just going to skip through it. <laughs> and when I skip through it, I instantly get a fragment. <laughs> At least some build up would have been nice. But now with that we've got that out of the way, and we could now get our fleece. We're just going to do the same thing as last time, which would be going around and collecting more talisman fragments. Nice. Now we get a whole fully talisman fragment, so we could go grab our fleece up. And the pink fleece. The fleece of Fervor's favor. No parts will spawn, but heal using Fervor to regenerate health. Pretty good. Now we got our fleece. Okay, we're gonna accept Leshy into our cult, and we're just gonna leave him for now, because he should. He's just gonna go straight to bed. Okay, and here we are. Lamb, this is not a favor. I do not need your charity, but when dear brother Narinder struck us in his fury, my eyes were torn from the sockets, one was salvaged and hidden in a tangled dark wood. I despair at the thought of it being uncovered by some simple-minded beast, blah blah blah. Find the eye of Leshy in Darkwood, which is what I'm probably gonna do. Okay, go here. Look, now I have two sets of eyes around me. Eyes of Leshy, orbiting eyes that damage enemies on contact, and then... <laughs> now I got four sets of eyes. Okay, see, now I'm taking damage. Quite nice, because after I do all this... Oh, let me get to a safe place! Ouch, I'm taking more damage than I need to. Go over here, and then I can heal. Oi! I thought I'd heal a whole heart, not a half heart. Heals pretty fast though, actually. There we go. See, full health. And it uses fervor to heal, so... Now I actually have a use for all this fervor. <laughs> eye of Leshy again. I have six eyes circling me. This is actually insane. I am gonna fight the wins because I have freaking six eyeballs. Just like this guy. I got one more than him. Okay, there goes the bomb. Okay, and then... Ah, oh, so close to killing him. Eyes of Ice Core are really actually helping. Okay, and then hit him with Frozen. So close! Uh, the eyes aren't hitting those guys for some reason. It's like they're on a different plane or something. So these guys are like glitched out or something. There we go. That's so weird. <laughs> and I'm so glad I found this random glitch because now I could just abuse the heck out of relics. And at least now I know I could probably do a relic only video like this. Okay, and this is actually, I'd say it's kind of nice because then there's like three dead bodies, but it sounds kind of messed up. It's for a reason. So I'm going to take, I'm going to pull these out. There's three of them dead. And then I'm going to harvest their meat. Hopefully this works. Come on, third time's a charm. Damn it. Well, yeah, I could get a little relic from that. So I'm going to wait for them to grow old and die. Okay, and now currently we are at a little problem. So I do have enough followers to unlock this. Problem is sacrifice. I have to sacrifice, which would kind of defeat the purpose of a pacifist run. And there's not really a glitch I could perform to get around this. So we're going to be doing some sketchy business, AKA file editing. To do this, I go to app data, local low, massive monster, cult of the lamb, and then saves. I then use a save decryptor and rename it to the save I'm playing on, moving it to my save file and then opening it up. In notepad, I use the find feature, looking for unlocked dungeon doors, and add 8, 9, and 10 to it, saving my changes and opening back up cult of the lamb. Behold, my legit way of opening doors. Okay, so now since we used our total legit way to unlock the doors, I'm gonna go instantly to anchor deep. Oh, and I have to fight a witness. Come on, get him, bomb! Actually, oh. <laughs> I was about to say I could freeze him and just beat up on him, but the bomb did its job. Juna for the freaking win. And I'm getting very lucky because I just found another relic room. Corving eyes that poison enemies. Okay, and here we are with our brim too. Slow him down with the eyeballs. I think the bomb already procced, so... Oh my god, I'm so low on health. And it's nice because I can slow this guy down so he doesn't really attack me as much. Keep going up and down. He should be almost dead. There we go. Okay. And now that we're out here, we're actually gonna do something real quick. So we're gonna perform a sermon. So I want the damnation relics, which will give me nice cursed heart ones, but that's not the main reason why I want that. Uh, this one is the one I want. Damn Exorcist's finger, summon a powerful demon to assist you in battle, which is a pretty nice one. And I might be able to unlock another whole level. Damn, I was able to, jeez. And I'll just get the blessed relics too. Okay, and then to add to the relics I have, I'm gonna go over to Pilgrim Passage, and then I'm gonna start fishing. 
Here we go, freaking finally. Jesus Christ, that took forever. Beak of the Fowler instantly refill fervor, which is pretty nice because then I use fervor to heal. A few days later, bodies have racked up. Uh, we're just gonna collect them, harvest the meat. Yep, that was the fifth body. War Raka's right fist. Chance for dead bodies to reanimate and fight for you while crusading. So let's just go back onto our crusade. Oh god, it's one of these guys. See how little the bomb did to damage him? I literally don't have heavy attack, so I can't do anything. Are you kidding me? I'm gonna die to this guy after spending all this time doing this crap? And I died! Okay. I should've just omnipresence out of there. Ugh, what a waste of freaking time. Oh my freaking god, it's one of these idiots again. I think I'm gonna leave. I'm not gonna be waiting for this guy. Uh, I need better stuff to kill him. Because this is actually like really pissing me off that I have to keep fighting him. So I'm gonna have to go like a different path to find like a ton of relics or something. Because there doesn't really seem to be a way around him. Okay, here's a relic room. Eyes of Slyther. That's actually probably really good against this one annoying guy. Because then I think poison is ticking through his shield. So oh, and of course when I freaking get decked out to whip his butt, he doesn't show up. What a freaking wuss, man. Time to fight Saleos anyways. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be him if freaking he didn't run like a wimp. Oh my gosh. Wait, I can convert him? I thought you weren't supposed to be able to convert them after you beat them the second time. I guess I'll have two Saleoses. Oh, sweet! Oh my god! Bless somebody's finger. I forget. Two more demons. Please be useful. I am ecstatic. Oh, sweet! Chance for dead bodies to reanimate and fight for you while crusading. Oh, I can't use it. Wait, what? So I have to use it when there's a dead body around me? Kind of sucks that I got demons and they both freaking suck. Wait, what? I swear I fought Saleos. Wait, what? Okay, the bomb just did a ton of damage to him. I swear I, I, I just fought Saleos, right? What if I use this? Kill the lackey? <laughs> My skeleton friend! Oh, is it a cat too? I'm gonna let the little skeleton creature thing kill the boss. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. It just killed him. Does he follow me to other rooms? Oh, that's so disappointing. Oh my god. I, I could have summoned him so early. I didn't know it'd be like that. Oh my gosh. Well, lesson learned. Okay, and before we have to go in, let me roll because I want a certain necklace. Oh, <laughs> but we got it. Okay. Yeah, the demonic necklace follower has increased demon level. Quite nice, I would say. We'll give it to Pinocchio because I wanted to shoot faster because then he shoots so damn slow. Uh, here he is. Oh, he already has a necklace though. Okay, so I have to give it to Juna. So demonic necklace, Juna is the bomb if anyone's wondering. Okay, well, she should be two levels higher than she already is. She's level 16, so she'll be level 18. So she she's level 16, but it says level 18 right here. Pretty nice. Okay, here we are. We just have Juna to rely on. She is level 18. Hopefully she could uh, carry me in this Calamar fight. Get him, Judah, get him! Oh my god, I just gotta make sure she doesn't attack a random enemy. Where did she go? Where did she just go? Are you kidding me? She just like randomly flew off screen. Oh, now I just have to roll back and forth, I guess. Roll Saleos and Pinocchio. Oh my Christ. Pinocchio hopefully do their thing in time. It's actually heal. Oh, I can't believe that tail end of that got me. This guy really thinks he could get me and my awesome dodging skills. Not a chance in hell, boy. I'm just gonna continue doing this. It's working. And then these bomb guys should do deal some damage to him. Uh, I think they did. There's a okay, yeah. Oh my gosh. There's a ton of them and they're hitting him pretty hard. One more hit, one more hit, one more hit actually. Just one stray bomb and there we go. That's freaking dumb that we had to do it without Juna though. Except Calamar with the weird freaking noises. What is this? Shimura Heket Leshi? I feel bleh. We want to accept Calamar into our cult. There we go. And they're actually going to be instantly sick. We want to go over to the healing bay. Give them some Camilla flowers. So then we have to just wait a little. So Calamar, Lamb, I recall as I sat here, a place in the unknowable fathoms of Anchor Deep. I sunk it there, my handsome ear, unfaithfully taken by Narender. Fetch it, won't you? Okay, here we are. We're gonna go to this mystery room right here, and then pick up Calamar's ear. New relic unlocked. Summon an undead follower to help you in your crusade. Okay, yeah, and it's just a little skeleton guy who will follow me around. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him get him. And I should be able to summon one soon. Okay, and I could use this instantly. Summon two of them. Uh, this is actually a really good relic. Okay, we're gonna go here to this relic room. Uh, I have Leshy. Oh, oops. I, uh, god damn it. Well, I kind of messed up by picking that up because now, now I only get three of them. I wanted like a million of them. Okay, and here we are. Witness Astaroth. Uh... He is dead. I wanted the skeletons to shine, but I don't think they even got in a hit because they like, they walk so slow. Jane talked to Calamar after he finished this. Ah, uh, a good looking ear is not, you must agree. Yeah, it's kind of gross, but it does pretty well. 
I think Salios is old because I can't see him. We have this Salios, but he's the wrong Salios. Yeah, I think I'll have to use Ty Ty Tyna. What the frick is your name? Uh, but yeah, we'll have to use them because yeah, here he is. He's old, so he's quite useless for a while. So things will be a little hard for a tad. Oh, works this isn't that this is the resummon enemies, right? I'm gonna look for a room with a ton of body bags in it, and then I'm gonna use it. Okay, there's three skeletons in here. I'm gonna use this right here. Oh, it only summons one. Okay. That kind of sucks. I thought it'd summon all three. Oh gosh. Witness bathtub. <laughs> he dodged straight into his death. Oh my god. Juna is just a monster, bro. Okay, Zapar number two. I'm gonna heal off the bat. Oh my god, oh my god, the amount of bombs is unreal. What, I have my own bomb? Get him, Juna! Where is Juna? I think they glitched out again. Uh, don't you love this game? And then my skeleton got obliterated too. <laughs> I can use Big of the Fowler and then just run around, go right here. Why am I doing so damn little damage to him? Why did Juna have to just run away and leave me for dead? Big of the Fowler, I got my refill on the floor. I'm just gonna use all of the rest of it. This is also taking forever because Salios freaking took an early retirement. Zapar is super close to dead. Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay, since I keep running into that weird thing where Juna is just flying off randomly, I am gonna go buy some cards. First, we're gonna wanna go uh, Sport Grotto. And then yes, in the new save, when I reset it all weird, I didn't put Blazing Trail in because I know a ton of people complained about me using Blazing Trail because I was rolling into enemies to damage them. But yeah, we want Kin of Terua. When hit, spawn a tentacle that damages enemies on contact. Very nice card. And then we're gonna wanna go to Pilgrim's Passage. And then we're gonna want Retribution, drop a friendly bomb. So friendly, when hit. And back to Anura. Are you serious, bro? Okay, well, Juna's now old, so I can't use Juna. Uh, that's quite troubling. I'll use Hipaterino, what atrocious name, and then Calamar? Yeah, Calamar. What a horrible lineup I have. Oh my god, at least Pinocchio's still here, so he's at least doing something, but god, the amount of damage I'm doing is atrocious. This took for frickin' ever to get here. And it really doesn't help that the bomb blew up the lackeys instead of Eligos. Oh my god, this is good. Actually, I think I'm gonna die. Uh, they do so little damage. It's unreal, actually. No! Damn it! Did you see that stupid lackey? I didn't even. Oh my god. Yes! Okay, that actually sounds really messed up to cheer, but Salios is dead. So I could harvest him, and I could go in here. Ritual of Resurrection. Jeez, my cult is so small because everybody's freaking dying. Uh, revive Salios. Imagine I clicked the wrong one, I would have flipped. And that is very nice because I could go Salios right here. Oh, and he doesn't have a necklace anymore. Well, that's a good thing to know, actually. Okay, and here is Eligos again. This time it should be better because I have the eyes of Leshy, so... And a Salios that actually, actually does damage. There we go, doing some nice damage. These eyes are really doing a number. And they're already dead. Okay, over here, Juna, take her body out, harvest it. She actually drops a demonic necklace, so I could take that back. I could give Salios the necklace, so we're gonna do this. Here you are, Salios, demonic necklace. So we should be two levels higher, and I could probably just level him up right here, too. Weird <laughs> Calamar staring like he thinks he's gonna get a muffin or something. Oh my god, is that the wrong Salios? This is the actual Salios. That's so obnoxious. That's the reason why I have another Salios. It was actually a glitch. And now this moron has a necklace. What a freaking waste. That's so annoying. Okay, here we are. Ritual of Resurrection. And then we're gonna choose Juna. Check Juna in here. Level 17, bomb. And then let's get on our way to back into the dungeon. Please give me something good. Um, bless Exorcist Hunger. This is really good. Summon two demons. Please give me some good demons, please. Hi. Always gives me these two idiots, which are literally the worst demons ever because this guy can't even collect hearts for me, and then this guy just collects fervor, which I freaking have arms and legs and can freaking do that. Goosey number two. Goosey's actually a really easy boss. I'm just gonna use this. He gave me a shield heart, doesn't really matter. And he instantly died to Juna. Okay. Let's take this and leave. I'm glad to have you back, Juna. Not really much setup. We're just gonna go beat up Hecate right now. Hopefully Juna doesn't just insta-kill Hecate. That'll be kind of boring. Damned Exorcist Finger, so we could use this and I'll summon a powerful demon and watch it summon the most powerful heart collecting demon ever. Okay, we got Eye of the Fervent. This one's actually really good because then it copies my curses. Okay, and here is the Hecate boss fight room. Here is Hecate. Hecate is about to meet Juna. Of course that had to happen! Oh my god, well, here's Hecate. Hecate is in her freaking neck brace because she just got snapped in 12 by Juna. 
Okay, we are pretty much nearly finished. You just have to come here into Silk Cradle, uh, wait for Juno to blow up, uh, what, four bosses? And then we're out of here. <laughs> oh, and here is the witness. Witness them have a taste of this bomb. What the frick? Okay, there we go. The freaking eyeballs comboed the heck out of them, so they almost teleported away. Okay, and time to fight Horus 2. Okay, Juna just... Juna took a big nibble out of his health, and then the rest just cleaned him up. <laughs> okay, and time to fight the caterpillar. I'm gonna stick... Oh, <laughs> the bomb just blew them everywhere, like... Oh my god, what the f... Well, now everything is frick absolute chaos. I'm just dodging around. I don't even know what's happening. And, but the caterpillar is about to die. What a hell of a ride. Okay, here's Folklore 2. It's kind of nice because we, we have the Shomera school thing. It doesn't matter because June is here. Okay, and there's not really any setup for fighting the final boss right now. I'm just gonna grab up Pinocchio. Saleos, and finally Juna. I actually almost forgot to make food. Do this real quick, munch that up, because it helps with the appetite. <laughs> and we're finally freaking here. Kinda sucks because we're not that stacked, we don't really have that good of stuff, but we have Juna, and Juna is all we need. Shimura really thinks Juna isn't- oh my god, Juna actually didn't do much health. Juna, you failed me! Okay, I actually have to fight this time because Juna didn't one-tap Shimura, but it shouldn't still be that hard because then they're pretty- well, how did that reach me? Uh, it shouldn't be that hard, because then the moves kind of suck. Okay, they actually are putting the brakes on me! Okay, Saleos is dealing some heavy damage. Should be, like, one more Saleos hit. Yep, there we go. I really thought Juno would one-shot Shimura, but apparently not. Walk over to Lucky, and then you finish your task. I'm gonna give you the world's worst trophy ever. Thank you. Thank you. And then, blah blah blah, you're stupid. Here is a fleece that you were never gonna use, because why would I use a fleece after I completed the entire freaking game? And plus, this freaking fleece sucks balls. And that's the ending. So, you can beat, uh, Relics of the Old Faith? Pacifist? Kind of? Not really. Because I kinda had to cheat a lot. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed the video anyways, though.